I am really hoping my ring light is hiding all of my imperfections today because I'll leave being perfect up to um, the perfect people of this world. I don't know who they are, I'll leave it up to them. Hello, my studenten, hoe gaat het? It is so nice to see you today, babe. How are you doing? How is, how is your life? Tell me all about it. If this is your first time here, my name is Kat and I'll be your Dutch teacher for today. Nice to meet you. You know what? In the teacher community, we all tell people to find a real teacher, to pay for a real teacher, to um, get a real teacher, but you know, the reality shows it's not always that easy. First of all, people might not have the financial means to get their own teacher. Um, it might be difficult to get the right teacher for you. I mean, I have had a teacher once, an Indonesian teacher that made me cry. I do cry very easily, by the way. Like, <laughs> I cry about literally everything. So I'm not sure how much of his fault that was, but you know, you, you ideally don't want your teacher to make you cry. There are so many factors. You might not have enough time and it feels too much of a commitment if you're paying for classes. There are so many reasons why getting a real teacher is just not an option for students. So today I gotcha, I'm gonna give you five tips for self-studying a language in case you cannot get yourself a real teacher. So these tips are for anyone who is learning any language, but I'm also going to specifically be applying them to learning Dutch because that's what I do. I'm a Dutch teacher, hi, let's do it. Tip number one is use good material. Now, I have been very vocal about how I feel about Duolingo. Up to you, up to you. But if you're using Duolingo, make sure you're using also some extra quality material. For learning Dutch, there are a few books that are very popular. I think the most popular one that I've heard of is Nederlands in Gang, but there's also material online that's for free. Zichtbaar Nederlands, for example, has a book and also a website that I approve most of. <laughs> I don't agree with everything they say, uh, but Zichtbaar Nederlands is one that I like to use. Um, NT2, NT2 has a lot of good material or dutchgrammar.com has a lot of well-explained grammar. So I definitely recommend going to websites like that to sort of make sure you have some quality material that can really explain the things that you're looking for aside from just Duolingo. Number two is make sure your pronunciation is good. Please, 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 I am begging you. I have had so many people coming up to me saying they've been learning Dutch on Duolingo, especially a lot of Indonesians, and they try to say something and it absolutely doesn't even sound like Dutch and I have no idea what they're talking about. I have a lot of very detailed pronunciation videos on my YouTube channel, of which I have heard that they're the best my students have ever found. <laughs> Just saying. And aside from that, you'll want to put that into practice. So I recommend checking your pronunciation with a Dutch person. And that, that brings me to tip number three, and that is to find yourself a language exchange partner. Um, it is not super difficult to find yourself a language exchange partner. There's an app called Tandem, which has a lot of people that want to learn different types of languages. Um, and on this app, you can offer your own language as something that you can teach, whether that's English, Russian, there will always be someone who is interested. Um, or you can go on specific Facebook language exchange groups. You don't necessarily have to go to the events, but what you could do is you can go onto one of those groups and create a public post saying, hi, my name is Baba, I am learning Dutch and I can teach this language. Does anyone want to do a language exchange? And then you might be able to do 45 minutes of your language for 45 minutes of the other person's language so that you sort of help each other. And I, again, especially, especially, especially recommend this for pronunciation. Please get your pronunciation checks. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Tip number four is force yourself to speak out loud. So when you're reading the material, when you're reading the grammar, force yourself to speak out loud so that you are actually also actively doing it. I have a lot of students that are so used to always reading and writing and they don't have any experience ex actually speaking it and that can be very frustrating because it feels like your level is much lower than it actually is and that can be so annoying. You can give a pretend presentation to your stuffed animals, for example, and sort of pretend to 
teach them the language. You can also try to discuss it with a friend or a family member. Maybe if you don't like somebody that much, just sort of like try to chase them out of your life and tell them, hey, I've been learning this language. I want to present to you what I've learned. Can you just sit and listen to me for a second? Force yourself to do it. That's so important. And then finally, num tip number five is set aside a specific time to practice. So this could be, for example, every morning for 30 minutes while you're eating your breakfast. Or for example, every evening after you've just arrived home, you take a bath, you have some dinner, and you take some extra time to learn the language that you're learning. With this, you're introducing a regularity into your life, which is so, so important if you really, truly want to learn something. They always say, Habits pick up after 21 days of consistently doing them. And if you want to learn a language, trust me, you'll need to make learning that language your habit. I just need to say that none of these tips can ever, ever, ever replace the quality of a good quality teacher. So to y'all, good luck. You can do it. I believe in you and yay. Okay, my students, and that's it for today. If you want to book a class with me, the link is in my description. Don't forget to leave your questions, feelings, or existential crises in the comments. And I hope to see you all soon. Goed gedaan and tot ziens. Doei doei.